Hi, Rick St. John with WildPhilippinesTravelAgency.com. Today we're going to take a tour through the Manila Ocean Park, which is uh, one of the uh, newer attractions here in Manila. Uh, it was built uh, in 2008. And it's a, it's a really nice place to, to go and take the family. Um, you can spend a couple, three hours there. Uh, what you're looking at here is inside the dome. Once you walk in, there's a very large dome. And all the way around, they have images uh, of the different fish that are from the Manila Bay and, and the oceans uh, throughout the Philippines. Here you see the people getting in line for the tickets. All the way around in the rotunda also there are restaurants. Here you see the ladies getting their tickets, um, getting ready to proceed through into the uh, aquarium. Loves the girls. <laughs> and the girls love wait, the girls. On most days at Manila Ocean Park, you'll find the, the uh, mascot out front. Uh, and you can take pictures with them. Uh, great for kids. I should have said uh, great for some kids. This is my daughter, Rainstorm. And she's, uh, <laughs> she's really scared of the shark. <laughs> One of my favorite exhibits at the Manila Ocean Park is the uh, crocodile area. Uh, these crocodiles are native to the Philippines and they're also uh, critically endangered. And so it's a great opportunity to come and, and you know, take a look at what they're trying to do to preserve these uh, beautiful uh, animals. Uh, there, there is a sanctuary for them down in Mindanao. And so uh, they have a few here at Manila Ocean Park also. All the fish that you see throughout the aquarium are native to the oceans that surround the Philippine Islands. So if you were to do any diving throughout the Philippines, whether that be uh, Batangas, Palawan, Boracay, uh, Bohol, re regardless of where you were to go uh, here in the Philippines and dive, you would see uh, these uh, species of fish in the oceans here uh, in the Philippines. Also, uh, in the um, individual tanks here, you're looking at the coral and different plant life <clears throat> and shells and rocks. All these are native also to the uh, oceans that surround the Philippines. It's very hard in some instances uh, to detect uh, what's real and what's not. They've done a very, very good job in putting this together to make everything look just as natural and real as possible. And again, you know, if you're, if you're gonna be in Manila for uh, even a couple days, this is well worth uh, the trip out there to take a look at this.
This is my daughter, Rainstorm. She really loves the fish. She really likes coming here. This is my wife, Jane, here. Hi, Jane. Here's the tunnel area, and uh, this is a very, uh, very cool experience here. As you walk through, there are fish on both sides and above you, and for kids especially, they really, really love this. Uh, whenever, whenever I go there, uh, this is the one area where you'll find, you know, just, you know, so many people in here sitting down, and this is where they, they just like to sit and just relax and, and watch the fish and it's just a really cool area. WildPhilippinesTravelAgency.com, the name you know with the service you can trust. We're one of the most respected and trusted names in Philippines travel, offering the most complete packages at the best prices, guaranteed.